Okay, Phil, here's the uh, demonstration of the graphical user interface. So uh, on the video on the right-hand side, you'll see the uh, playout screen. That's where our score bug is going to appear. Um, that would be the uh, ATM uh, when we're doing a game. And on the left-hand side over here, you'll see the scoreboard that we have. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I don't know if I'm connected or not. I better. Oh, I guess I'm not live. So when uh, up here in the upper right hand corner, it says connect, and that should allow me uh, to put some output. So let's see if uh, Scorebug does sh show. Oh my gosh, and there it is. Okay, there's our sc Scorebug. Uh, let's uh, reset our clock. Back to zero. Let's start our clock running. Oh, works. Isn't that good stuff? Um, if you look back at the graphical user interface now, um, you can see that on the left-hand side is all the visiting team's data. Um, we can click on this green box, and that'll bump up the score by one, the plus one, uh, and the minus one should work as well. Over on the <coughs> right-hand side, Home team, let's give the Braves a couple of goals here. You can see I'm clicking on this green box where it says plus one. Oh, I gave them one too many so I can click on minus one. So that's the basic operation uh, of the score bug. Let's see what else we've got now. We've got uh, timeout animations. So I can give the visiting team a timeout. Just put that on and off screen. And same thing for the home team. I also wanted to include a power play so if visiting teams on the power play I can just click on this power play button over here and I can take it off go over underneath the home team here is a power play button down here and uh, hopefully you can see where I'm pointing and click on it and up comes the indication on the score bug that the home team's got a power play. Uh, the other thing that I saw from Zach's stuff is shots on goal. So a little screen can come up here with the shots on goal. And similarly, I've got uh, over here on the left the plus and minus so I can add to the shots on goal or subtract. And over on the other side, I can uh, add and subtract from the home team's shots on goal. And we can start and stop the clock. And we can reset the clock back to uh, 20 minutes. So uh, that all works. And I can now go to this center red box here, take the shots on goal off, because I know uh, you don't like them uh, on the screen very long. So uh, a couple of other uh, things, I guess. I can uh, take the, well, no, while the game is on, um, I can show this little thing down here at the bottom. Uh, see, I got this panel you can type in, and uh, I clicked on this, and that brought up that lower third announcement. Uh, I can hide it. Uh, it's dynamic, so we can put anything in here. We can say uh, Braves goal scored by Phil. Oh. Better get Phil spelt right. Um, so once we have that all typed in, we can put that up. Brady's goal scored by Phil. So we can use that for whatever. A penalty box door is broken. We want to let the people know that's why the delay. We can uh, put that up. Uh, we can hide this uh, score bar. And uh, before the game, uh, we can put up uh, a little graphic like this, telling about what's coming up on Fast Hockey. Uh, the team names and the logo are all based on uh, what's up here in the interface. Uh, so we're the visiting teams, home team, we can change all of that stuff. Uh, the other thing that I was telling you about yesterday that I worked on, uh, I can play videos through the score bug. So down here in the lower left, uh, I have a menu that goes to this directory. I can pick out the video that I want. 
Okay, that's enough of Neil. He's pretty loud. Um, we can pick any other video that we have in here. I might have some of the uh, the People's Jewelers uh, commercials. So you can see I've got a little drop down list and uh, we just select which ones we want. I think that was the balloons one. Select the candy one. So we can play our commercial. Let's switch back. You'd have to be doing the switching for this, but this is uh, just showing you all the facets of the score bug and what it can and can't do.